If a property is listed on the market, you should still pursue it if the property is on the market and is a for sale by owner. I'm not encouraging you to go ahead and reach out to properties that are listed with realtors. Why? Because a property that's listed with a realtor means that we are not having direct access to the seller. Now it does not mean that you cannot do deals working in collaboration with realtors. Um, by the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to go ahead and do that. But I do not want you spending a majority of your time trying to collaborate with realtors. Creating deals through creative financing or buying and selling on terms and doing that on lease options, owner financing, and subject to deals is much easier, less, much less resistant when you're going direct to seller. And that's for one simple fact. That's because you have the ability to have a direct conversation with the seller, explain how the process works, the benefits that are involved, and that way the seller can go ahead and make the best decision for them and their family. Now, if you happen to go ahead and call on a property and it is relisted with the realtor, I do encourage you to start having conversations with realtors. Why? Because having a select group of realtors that you work with and collaborate with can and should be a part of your business plan. As a family business, we have at least three realtors that we work with on a weekly basis. And we're able to create deals with them and set long-term uh, relationships with them that creates and generates revenue uh, that has been created years in advance. Because we're able to understand each other, they understand our process, we understand how they work, and there's a lot of ways in for us to collaborate. So. If you happen to respond to a realtor uh, that's calling you based on a listing that you reached out to, this is, how, this is how I would begin the conversation. Hey, Mr. Realtor or Mrs. Realtor, don't want to discriminate. I'm, I'm glad you reached out to me because, and I was calling, I was originally calling on a property that I believed was off market. I would still like to have a conversation with you because um, we work with realtors and are able to create a great relationship with them and be able to create win-win scenarios where we both can make great money. This property, it may not work for the options that I have, but uh, I would love to have this conversation because I believe that it may work for other properties that you have. It tends to lower their walls and now they can have additional conversations with you. Because once you introduce that it's not just about this property, it's about uh, other properties in the future, they can disconnect from that and now have a, a, a good conversation with you. You say, Mr. Seller, um, if, it may not work for this one, but the way we buy real estate, we're able to help out two different sets of people. One, we're able to help out buyers that need time in order to qualify uh, and that cannot qualify for a bank loan today. I'm sure you have come across these buyers in the past. And then number two, we're able to help sellers that either uh, don't have enough equity in their property and they may have to come out of pocket in order to sell or for functionality reasons, the property is expiring, or for other reasons that the property expires. Hey, we know, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor, that even the best realtors in the world still have expired listings. Now, if for some reason that come that this listing uh, it, it becomes that, then what I would suggest is we have a conversation because we have a great uh, relationship where we can create some cash flow for you. Now, what we do is we'll pay you a certain amount of money uh, from the non-refundable deposit, uh, payday ones, and usually that happens over uh, the lifetime of the deal, which means that you can create a bit of an annuity. Isn't, doesn't that sound intriguing? So that's the way I want you to start off the relationship, is by lowering the barrier, lowering the walls, and showing them that there's another way for them to make money and collaborate. Now, the other piece is, to dangle out that carrot is, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor also, some of our deals need realtors in order to, uh, to list and sell traditionally, just by a pure way of us exiting our deals. Now, of course, if you're referring us deals, then we would certainly want to refer some other deals back to you. Now you plant a seed where they're able to get listings in the future from work they're doing now. So I am encouraging you to collaborate with realtors, especially the ones that get it, that are willing to spend the time and the effort to understand how your model works and how they can best uh, help you and your business. And that way you go ahead and reciprocate that as well. Because of course you wanna create the win-win relationship. So circling all the way back around, that is 
do I encourage you to go ahead and pursue listings or properties that are currently listed on the traditional market by a realtor? No, I don't. But you are gonna come across those properties that for one reason or another, you get in communication with a realtor and I am encouraging you to spend the time and the effort to develop relationships long-term so that way you can continue to create your dream team. Now, if you haven't read any of our books yet, I would encourage you to go ahead to go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash ebook because that's, that's really gonna help you dive into how you fit in the real estate market and how you can buy and sell real estate by creating three distinctive paydays without cash, credit, or banks. And that way you can have a much more educated conversation with these realtors that you come across.